We are officially done with our first year of homeschooling using the Abeka curriculum. Now, what am I going to do with all this stuff? We homeschooled our fourth grade son and our daughter who was in preschool. And we used the K4 Abeka curriculum for our daughter. And for our son, we used the fourth grade Abeka Academy accredited curriculum. Now that we have reached the end, we have all of these wonderful resources that came with our curriculum. And the big question is, what do we do with it all? So I'm gonna go through it all and share with you all my thoughts and my ideas of what am I going to do with this stuff. So in our home, we don't have a specific homeschooling room. We homeschool here in our dining room and our resources are readily available here, pretty much on this wall that you guys see over here. So I need to make room and space for the new curriculum that we're going to be using next year. The way I organize it, I like to keep all the teacher materials on one bin and all the student resources in the other bin since when we homeschool sometimes we are homeschooling here at home and homeschooling also happens in my in-laws home so we got to make sure that everything is all nicely and compact in one precise location so the very first thing I want to go over with you guys is this right here these are all the things that we have that were student resources first I'm going to begin with the readers these are the readers that were used for reading class and these two were novels or stories that he read and he also made a book report on. Now, knowing my son, I know that typically when he reads something, he is not one of those kids that will go back and reread. I have a nephew who is an avid reader. He just devours anything in front of him. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna offer these to my sister to see if she wants them for her son because this is all high quality literature and you know, is there are stories that really you don't have to worry about there being something in there that you don't want your child to read. So I'm gonna offer them to her, see if she wants them. And if she does, I'm going to go ahead and give them to her. Next, we have these textbooks here. It is the science, the health, and the history. These were amazing textbooks. They were just full of such great valuable information. I'm gonna offer them also to my sister, but if she does not want these, I'm gonna save them and I'm going to place them in the free table in our next year's local homeschool expo. I did see that some people did that this year and I just thought that was so nice and valuable for homeschooling parents that are just looking for resources. So I think that's what I'm going to do, give them to somebody who can find some use for them. I'm not really keeping any of it because I really am not gonna have much use for it when my daughter makes it to fourth grade we're gonna buy the curriculum all over again for her and we're gonna receive the same stuff by that point there might be already a revised or a new version of something so I'm already gonna be receiving everything so there's not really any reason for me to hold on to these things this right here was the spelling and vocabulary workbook I was thinking about this if to keep it just like a resource for my son to practice his spelling I'm giving this one a little bit of thought I'm not gonna get rid of this one quite yet but I can't really give this one away because it's already been written in and there were some activities that the kids had to do in the bottom. So this one I cannot really pass forward. So I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think if I can really find any use for it here at home. If not, I'm just gonna toss it out. The penmanship book is another book that I don't feel like I can pass along because as you can see, it was one that my son also did his work in. So this one, I think I'm just going to toss. And the consumables, by the time the fourth quarter came around, a lot of them were already emptied out because what I did is that all the work was always put in a binder. The only one that still had stuff in it was the arithmetic one. And that is like the supplementary exercises that I wanted to keep for him to practice during the summer so that he could keep his mind sharp. So I kept this. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna rip it out, put it in a folder for him to do as practice throughout the summer. Now, moving on to the parent resources this right here goes along with the readers so I'm going to pass along this to my sister as well she doesn't homeschool yet I know that she has thought about it so maybe this just will give her kind of like an idea of what it's like these right here are just parent answer keys for the student consumables unless you have the student consumable this is not really going to do very much but you know parents can be very resourceful <laughs> so maybe I'll put this on the free table as well these right here are just again answer keys to the students test and quizzes 
I feel like I'm not going to have any use for it. And unless you have the student tests and quizzes, this is not gonna be helpful neither. So these I'm just going to toss. These right here were the developing good health answer keys to the comprehension questions in the workbook. So this right here, I'm gonna just pass along to my sister. And this one over here, that if she wants the textbook and she wants to do a comprehension questions with her son, if she says she doesn't want them, then I'll just add them onto the free table at the homeschool expo. And then this one, um, I love geography. I, um, but I feel like my son is gonna revisit this, so I think this one is just gonna be a toss out as well. Now, as to the things that I have here, this is where I accumulated my son's worksheets of all the workbooks that he did. Because this was our first year doing this, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to use this. So I just simply stacked it in here. And this is also where I kept like my Abeka Academy progress report folders. Um, these I'm gonna keep. Maybe I'll find a good use for them. These are those nice vanilla folders. So I'm gonna keep those. This was our portfolio for this year. Maybe I'll do a separate video talking to you guys about what exactly did I include in my portfolio. But out of all the work that my son did, I honestly just kept the tests. I didn't keep quizzes. I didn't keep any workbook pages. I didn't find that necessary for me. I did have like a little thing in the center where I had all the copies of all the progress reports that I had sent as well as the calendar for the year that showed our homeschooling days. So this I'm definitely going to keep. Again, a copy of all the tests that my son took, his book reports as well as his penmanship is in here. In here are just all of the quizzes that he took and just the work that he completed throughout the year. I just kept it in here, like I said, because I wasn't too sure what exactly was I going to do with it and any things that he needed extra paper to do assignments on. Um, he just kept it in here. So what am I gonna do with all of this? I'm simply going to toss it, people. Yes, I am. I'm letting go of it. I don't need it for anything. Anything that I needed for my homeschool evaluation is right here, and I need space for the upcoming school year stuff. So I pretty much just had to prioritize. What was it that I found important to keep and to let go? And when I think about when my son was in traditional school, what did I keep and what did I let go? Well, I didn't keep every single piece of graded paper that he got. And I didn't keep every single worksheet that he brought home that he completed. I would only keep a select few things that I thought would be memorable. So all this is going bye-bye. I really didn't need all of these things, but I just wanted to keep it just, I don't know, because it's me. So I'm keeping that. For my son's binder, I already sent out the fourth quarter progress report, so all his tests are gone. All that's left here is his workbook pages that he completed for the fourth quarter. So I need to empty all that out as well. All of that is going in the trash. I am keeping the binder and I am keeping the dividers. I'm just gonna fill it up with the fifth grade stuff. Now some of you may be like, oh, wait a minute, Jesse, that's not the binder that you started with. You are absolutely right. It is not the binder that I started with. I started with the flex binder. However, in April, the flex binder did break. The good thing about the flex binder is that they have a guarantee. And these people really truly stand behind the guarantee. It was like the top things that broke. It broke, my husband sent me a text message telling me if I can order up a new binder because Noah's binder broke and if it could be one with the metal ring. My son tends to like to take out the page that he's working on and then put it back in. So my husband requested if we could try the metal rings with him this time just so it's much easier for him just to pull like this unload and then push back so we're giving this a try this is not one with a warranty but we've had it since april and it's withstanding pretty well after i ordered this for my son and you know he just needed a place to put all his work at because this is the method that really works for our family my husband really needed this asap so then I remembered that this did have a rings won't break all year guarantee. So what did I do? 
I sent them an email telling them that the rings broke. They asked me to submit some pictures of where the breaking happens and they sent me a free replacement. Now I personally love the flex binder. I have bought four of these and out of all the four that I've gotten, only one has broken and I received the replacement for it. I have one for myself at work, one for here at home, one for my daughter and then the one for my son that broke. Now. They did send me the one inch instead of the one and a half inch, but that is okay. But I was just pleased that even to the color, they even sent me a green one. I was very pleased that they sent me a replacement within a week of when I sent that email. So they were very, very quick about it. If you are wondering how good is this binder, to me, I think is great. I think it's a wonderful binder. If you're gonna buy it, keep the receipt, take a picture of the receipt, save it on your phone, because if it breaks in less than a year, they will replace it. It is amazing. I am very, very pleased. I am a satisfied customer. So we have this one in case something happens to this one throughout the year. We'll see how it goes. So that is what I'm planning on doing with this year's now old curriculum. How about you guys? What are you planning to do with your old resources? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I am so super excited. Looking forward to ripping out the fifth grade and just start organizing that. That makes me like so excited. I know I've mentioned it before, but I love curriculum. So once I get this stuff out of my house, I am going to go ahead and take out our new curriculum for this year and start organizing. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.